welcome, lassie. Come. <laughs> ah, welcome, lassie. You have not forgot your old friend Carlos, eh? <laughs> Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> ah, Senor Cori. Buenos dias, Carlos. Good to see you again. You look well and fit. Uh, the Lord has been good to me. And on a day like this, how can anyone complain? <laughs> Come on, Lassie. <laughs> you want to go visit with my children, eh? Well, go, Lassie. Go. <laughs> now tell me, Senor Cori. What brings you to my valley? I have to check the fire breaks in Moccasin Ridge. From here I go to Sunrise Mountain. I couldn't pass through without saying hello. Splendid. Then you will join me in a cool drink, eh? That's a good idea. <laughs> More, senor? Oh, no, thank you, Carlos. That was fine. It's good to have you at my table again. It is possible for you to stay for supper? Oh, I wish I could, but I've got a lot of riding to do. Yes, you are a very busy man. I have only one valley to care for. You have many valleys. Especially this time of year. We're moving into a critical fire season. Yes, it comes each year with the heat of summer. The lightning from the sky. Well, it's a big battle, but we keep fighting it. I wish you luck, senor. Thank you. Come on, lassie. See you the next time around. Goodbye, my friend. And you too, my beautiful little lassie. <laughs> Come on, lassie. <laughs> What's it look like? The cumulus clouds that have been building are starting to move in. Control, go ahead, Eagle Summit. I've got lightning smoke at azimuth 217 on the south slope of Whitewater Ridge. Just a minute, I've got another one. At azimuth 240, about a mile below Whitewater Ridge. Okay, got it. Go the air tanker base and have them put those aerial tankers on standby. Control, this is Sugarloaf, fire call. Sugarloaf, this is Control, go ahead. Smoke sighted at Big Pine Creek, asthma 160. Right, Sugarloaf. We'll have a crew there as soon as possible. Control clear. Hello, Dick. This is Helicopter Stan. Helicopter one, this is control. We've got a lightning storm in Helicopter progress. Helicopter one, this is control. Come in. Put the air tankers on standby. Control, this is Copter one. Pick up an attack crew at Hellespot number seven. Drop them off at Whitewater Ridge. Right, Corey. Helicopter one, clear. Control clear. All right, thank you. The air tankers are on standby. How's it going? Three smokes so far. 
Control, this is a fire call. Fire call. Control, fire call. Helicopter one, this is control. Come in. Helicopter one, go ahead, Corey. What's your position? Oh, about one mile west of Strawberry Peak. We've had a smoke report just west of Moccasin Ridge. Confirmed. Right, Corey. Helicopter one, clear. Control, helicopter one. I've spotted the smoke. Stand by. Control standing by. That's a rough area. There's no roads in there. I'm over it now. It's a fire, all right, and getting big. Burning up the east slope. And spreading fast. The wind's strong. They say it's about two miles west of Moccasin Ridge. We've got it. Say, how's your fuel? Oh, I got about a half hour left. Well, they need a chainsaw over in that Pine Creek fire. Drop one off and then come in and refuel. You're in for a long day. Control clear. Will do. Copter one clear. The tankers? That's right. Looks like those boys are going to start earning their flight pay. Without Carlos, eh? <laughs> so that is it. Oh, there is nothing to be afraid of. That fire is far off, far from our valley. <laughs> Three thousand acres and still burning. It's only a mile from Moccasin Ridge. Helicopter One, this is Control. Come in. Helicopter One. Go ahead, Corey. Do you know that Carlos Aranzi spread in the valley just east of Moccasin Ridge? Sure, I know the place. Fly in there and tell Carlos to start moving the sheep out of there. Think it's that bad? Well, if this wind keeps blowing the way it is, that fire could jump the ridge into the chaparral. I'll feel a lot better if I know he's out of there. 10-4. Dispatch a relief crew to the south perimeter. Call in those Indian firefighters from Anza Junction and tell Banning to arrange bus transportation. Right. Come on up, Lassie.
senor. Spot the smoke? Some time ago. Well, it's moving this way. Corey Stewart sent me in here. He wants you to move your flock out of the valley. Tell Senor Corey we thank him for his concern, but we will remain here. That fire is spreading. Now, if it breaks over Moccasin Ridge, it can move right down into this whole valley. The Lord will temper the wind. My children and I will not be harmed. Mr. Arenzi, I don't think you understand. You see, I'm trying to help. I know, you are trying to help me. Well, then please listen to me. I am listening, senor, but I'm not leaving. But that fire... Senor, that fire will not harm us. Okay, I'll give Corey your answer. Gracias, senor. <laughs> Chapter one to control. This is control. Go ahead. The old fellow won't leave the valley. He just flat refuses. He says he and his sheep are staying right here. Did you tell him what would happen if the fire jumped the ridge into the valley? Affirmative. He said the Lord would temper the wind. He's stubborn, Corey, and he means it. Any change in fire conditions there? No, just about the same. Well, swing by here and pick me up. I want to take a look at that fire from the air. 10-4. I'm on my way. Copter one clear. Control and clear. Helicopter one, come in, please. Control, I read you, Corey. The fire's moving up Moccasin Ridge. Have the tankers come in right away. Tell them to come in from the east. Right, Corey. We're gonna set down in Aransi Valley. I'm gonna try to talk some sense into Carlos, have him get out of there. Helicopter one, clear. Good luck. Senor Corey. Carlos, you've got to get out of this valley fast. As you can see, I'm gathering my flock in the middle. But as for leaving this valley, I have already given my answer. The fire's moving up that ridge fast. If this wind continues, everything in your valley is going to be destroyed. The wind will change, senor. Carlos, I'm your friend. You believe that, don't you? See, of course. Well, then trust me and listen to reason. Reason, senor? This valley has been here a long time. There have been earthquakes, floods, other fires. My father and his father saw them, but they did not run away. They lie there now with my wife, Maria, all our aunties. Here we were born, 
Here we shall die, senor. That is my reason. The Lord will temper the wind. This valley will be spared. Hey, Corey! Stan's reported two men that are boxed in on the east section of the fire. I gotta fly them out. Well, come back for Lassie Me as soon as you're through. Uh, Stan, I'm on my way. Copter one clear. Hand me that pack. I'll put a fire break behind the house and barn. Good luck. I wish I had your faith, Carlos. I'm going to build a fire break behind the house just in case. I'll leave Lassie with you to help herd the sheep down into the meadow. Thank you, Lassie. There, little one. No harm will come to you now. The wind, Carlos. It has changed. Since the winds changed directions, the fire's burning out along the ridge. Can we hold it? Line boss says the worst is over now. He can get a line around the perimeter. This valley's safe. The Lord has tempered the wind, senor. 
As I knew he would. Goodbye, Carlos. Goodbye, senor. Thank you, Lassie. And goodbye. Huh? Come on, Lassie.